Hi guys, Victor here. Maybe you know me better as Big Marco. Um, well, what I want to show you today is just the first video of a series of videos regarding how we try to fix bugs uh, in Reactors. How which could be one of the best ways also to provide information to Reactors developers in order to, well, easily work and give them some really good information to show where the bugs is uh, where the bug is. Well, so as you say, to pick this uh, this book report, uh, which is talking about the ad form resource failing. I took this because it's a pretty easy API, as I'm going to show you, and also because the installer is telling you what is failing, that which is pretty nice. Um, sometimes you have to 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 try to guess what is going wrong. How, however, this this setup is telling you, hey, up from resource is failing. Okay, so the first thing that a tester or uh, that you, if you want to provide information, is to 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 read what does this API does, and you can see that up from resource function is a pretty easy function. It's it just uh, it's filled with a font name. Uh, it can be a relative path or an absolute path and it basically returns a value if it succeeds and returns zero if it fails. Uh, you can feed it with, well, as I said, with um, an absolute path and a relative path. However, if you read the MSDN, you will find that you don't have too much info regarding it. For example, well, regarding absolute path is Perfect. I mean, uh, you fit it with a path. If the file is six in such path, then the uh, then it's supposed to be added. Uh, and but what happens when 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 the file name uh, when I fit this API with a relative path, like uh, as uh, a dot ttf, where it's going Windows to look for such font? It's going to look for such font in the fonts folder. Uh, in the current directory, well, we have to guess, or better say, we have to create several tests to check what's going on. So, the first thing we do is to create, is to create a small test case. You can see here that I'm going to test the add from resource W version of the API. Well, this W may be can give you to some uh, if you know about this uh, you know what's going on the W and A APIs are two different versions one from Unicode uh, one from non Unicode but well the thing here is that we are feeding with a relative path a.ttf um, we are going to check uh, we are going to create three different TTF files the, the a.ttf files which is a non-existent resource, I mean, it's not going to cease at all. So, we expect it to fail. We expect zero files to be installed. Well, really, it's better say this, zero files to be added, uh, because it doesn't exist at all. So, it's a relative path to a file which doesn't exist in any folder in Windows, in any folder in Reactors. The second test is going to be pretty easy, which is placing the file open.ttf in the font folder. You know that there is a font folder uh, in C uh, slash Windows uh, slash fonts, uh, and we're going to place this open .ttf over there. And the third, um, the third test is to place the bpin .ttf next to the app, next to this app uh, after being compiled. We are going to place bpin .ttf uh, next to it. Uh, but we are not going to place bpin.ttf in font. So, everywhere of UTV is to check, uh, because our first guess is that uh, this API is going to check, if we feed it with a relative path, it's going to check probably in the font folder, and if it doesn't find in the font folder, it's going to try to check if next to the app uh, is there is the, the font and trying to install it. So, we have to create this small test to prove that we are right or maybe 
Windows uh, is going to prove us that we are wrong. So basically, we are testing Windows behavior right now. So the best way is to launch to launch um, to launch Windows. Uh, here we have copied in Windows in this virtual machine. We have copied, you know, the beeping TTF as said next to add from resource.exe. We have also created. Okay, we have also created uh, and placed it in Windows. In Windows fonts. As said, we have placed it. Let's see details, fail names, fail names. We have placed it at open.ttf. Um, well, we didn't place a TTF at all, so it must, it, it, it doesn't exist at all in, in the system. And what we are going to do is to launch our app from results.exe. And well, you can see I launched it previously. Yeah, I did a, a, a small trick. <laughs> um, well, you can see that we have uh, it is we have printed uh, it has printed just three lines, uh, which are this first line saying that it's going to execute or that it has just executed this app for resource W test that it has just executed the Open DTF test and the BP test, and as expected. If the file uh, lives next to the app, or if the file exists in the font folder, then add font resource w is going to add it uh, to add such font. So for now, we can be pretty sure that add font resource w is going to uh, use the fonts folder or its folder to check and to search such TTF files. I want to show you what happens in Reactors right now. Let's see what happens in Reactors right now. I'm going to launch it. Okay. I want to say that this uh, Reactors is really special because it has been compiled with the Visual Studio. Yeah, you can you can really um, use Visual Studio to um, you can use Visual Studio to compile reactors and that will give you some really nice features like being able to use WinBug or um, having PDB files uh, which are pretty nice for debugging sessions um, for advanced testing. So yeah, I'm going to show you such advanced testing in, in, in our next videos um, and right now I'm going to show you what happens uh, I launched the same test in Reactors. So let's see. We have placed it next to add front uh, the beeping TTF. Also, I place it in my computer uh, in the font folder. You can see how some uh, our new cell is. Thanks, guys. Okay, so. You can see here the open TTF in the font folder. Uh, so let's test how this uh, app, a small app with these test cases, work. Uh, let's move to let's move to uh, the desktop. Um, launch it. Voila! You see. Uh, the a, the a.ttf uh, test seems to work uh, perfect uh, as in Windows. You can see that there isn't any any error message printed. However, um, both open.ttf and bping.ttf are not working correctly. Uh, we are expecting one file is added, rather than installed. Uh, but uh, really, Reactors is just um, installing zero. So basically, what we have done is just to reduce um, uh, our behavior from from the app from 
from the app, uh, from this app, to just a test case that shows exactly the same behavior. So it's much more easy to debug, as I will show you in the next videos. Um, it's more more easy to to provide. Just this first step is pretty cool because it gives to Reactors developers uh, a perfect point to start. So sometimes it's much more better even if you are not able to create a patch or what's going on because maybe you don't know what's going on or how ad phone resource internals have to be encoded. But however, just this small uh, test case that shows, which shows how ad phone resource is feeling with just very basic tests will help a lot Reactors developers. So, well, for today, that's all. Uh, it was a pretty long video for such a small thing, but I think it's it's pretty cool to show you how we uh, work team it, how testers provide test case, uh, how to create the first test case, why we create test case, and in the next videos we are going to show you how 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 to follow uh, our code and the really nice features when you compile reactors with a Visual Studio because uh, the bugging is going to be a pleasure and maybe it's really really funny so well hope you like it um, next time I will try to make it even shorter so well guys I hope to see you pretty pretty soon